Michigan State Police are hoping that part of a major Detroit area freeway closed by an accident since earlier this morning can be reopened just in time for the afternoon rush hour. A semi overturned around 9 a.m. on the eastbound side of 696 right near Greenfield. A fuel leak from that rig has sort of slowed the efforts to upright that semi and clean up the scene. Now, until that accident is clear, drivers should avoid eastbound 696 right there at Greenfield. We're following a developing story right now from Detroit's east side, where a woman was found early this morning shot and critically injured. Police say a woman in her mid to late 20s was found with a gunshot wound to the head inside of a vacant home on Cedar Grove, just west of Chalmers and six blocks north of Houston Whittier. Now, the woman, who has not been identified just yet, is reportedly in extremely critical condition. It's not known what led up to that shooting. Also developing this afternoon, just weeks after that mass shooting, there's more tragedy in Dayton, Ohio. Officials say a suspect stole a police car and as he took off with it, crashed into several other cars. And we have learned, sadly, that two children were killed and nine other people were injured. Police say the strange and dangerous series of events started when a suspect stabbed a woman inside of a home. Soon after, police got a 911 call about a car accident, and it was while responding to that accident, police say the suspect involved in the stabbing hopped into a responding police car and took off with it, driving into downtown Dayton at a high rate of speed, speeding, causing that multiple car crash that turned deadly.